Hey crafty friends, it's Tina and Scrap and Rabbit. Thanks so much for stopping by the channel today and welcome to the Scrappy Tales Craft Flower Shop Hop. In today's video, I'm gonna be creating a couple cards featuring the new spring release from Scrappy Tales Crafts, specifically these two dies. The first one here is called Flowers and Rain Boots and you get just that. Lots of florals, some rain boots and a some rain boots and layers, a butterfly, little containers there for the flowers and all the layering pieces. I'm also going to be using the adorable garden stand animals. I just created a video featuring this die set if you wanted to go check that out. But there's lots of really cute little critters. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut out all the layers for the boots. You get a base layer, a polka dot layer, and then these little pieces here if you wanted to use those to decorate the boots. So I decided to make some boots in the teal colors. So I cut out all of those layers and I'm keeping them here on this white cardstock so that they don't get lost. And then I'm going to cut out these flowers. I was inspired by Sabrina's card on Instagram. She did the rain boots with these florals and so I knew I just had to create using these same dyes. I just love them. So the base layer I cut out in green and I have this little pokey tool so it's really handy to poke out all the little pieces that don't come out when you run it through the dye machine these pop out really nice and easy. I'm also cutting out the layers of the tulips and now I'm gonna go ahead and glue these boots together. So I'm going to just use some liquid glue and dab that on there and then that fits right over the, pea, the white piece so the boots can have these white polka dots. I took the darker pieces for the top of the boot and again for the bottom of the boot using my tweezers oh the buckle as well using my tweezers i'm going to go ahead and place those layers it's really easy to do because the lines are already on the die cut so you know exactly where to put them there are also these little pieces that you can put on the toes and the heel of the boot but i decided to not use them so i cut out a couple different flower bushes and the florals in the pink cardstock they fit right along each one of those flowers so it's almost like putting together a puzzle and I'm not too worried about all the little tiny pieces in the middle because I'm not going to be using those. The little kitty and the bunny are the little critters I'm going to be using for my card and I'm just grabbing some Copic markers and I'm going to do some outlining using the warm grays really really simple coloring i'm not they're both going to be basically white critters and so i'm just adding a little bit of dimension and helping them pop a little bit by adding a little bit of copic around the outsides so the w1 gives it that nice border and then i just blend out with the w0 and then i blend out one more time with the w00 it gives it a nice soft outline without having to do too much coloring. Very, very simple, helping them stand out. I'm adding little pink dots to the nose in R81, blending out with the RV000, adding a little E1 and RV00 in the ears and blending that out as well. Adding some cheeks and then they're just so, so darn cute and just going in with the gray, blending out the ears a little bit. And I'm gonna use this little black, very mic micro thin pen to color in the eyes. And just look how sweet and cute those are. I just love these little critters so much. To create the backgrounds for my cards, I'm gonna be using some Distress Inks in greens. It's a bundle sage and the peeled paint. And I'm just gonna blend those out and that is going to be the grass where I plant the flowers, so to speak. I always forget about those magnets. They do come in handy with having to not having to hold on to your cardstock. Using the darker blue, the salvaged patina, I'm just adding a little bit of that darker blue towards the bottom and then blending it out with the tumbled glass and kind of fading it towards the top. I don't really want a dark look. I just want a simple sky background. So I'm gonna use my heat tool just to dry it a little bit before I stamp and emboss my sentiment. I'm gonna stamp these with the happy birthday. These are from the Fairy Sentiments stamp set. 
And I'm also going to prep my paper with an anti-static powder tool using some Versafine black ink, my favorite ink for sentiments and heat embossing. And I'm going to use some clear embossing powder and just sprinkle that over just the sentiment and tap it off, heat up my heat tool nice and hot, and then I'm gonna melt that powder down and I just love the way that that looks. I brought out my little splatter box here and I'm taping over the sentiments and I'm gonna add some glimmer mist drops. Just a splatter in the background. I just love the way that that looks against a blue sky and it gives a subtle little shimmer and sparkle and I think it's so cute. I am using a top folding A2 sized card base for both of my cards and I'm going to use the liquid glue to go ahead and center those panels and use my bone folder to get that nice and flat. I'm going to pop up both the boots and the critters using some double side adhesive foam tape and I'm also going to double up the kitty with a second layer of white card stock just to reinforce that skinny little tail. And as I said, I'm cutting out and popping up all of the little critters, giving them nice solid coverage. I'm gonna use the liquid glue to go ahead and glue the florals down. I also colored up the little butterfly from the Garden Stand Animals uh, die set. Don't forget to visit all of the design team members, blogs and YouTube channels for the hop. Sabrina from Scrappy Tales Craft is offering two $25 gift cards, gift certificates to two lucky winners. All you have to do to be able to win is to leave a comment here on my video as well as the other design team members videos or blogs and all of that information is linked below. And I hope that you will consider subscribing so that you can keep up to date with all of the latest and greatest from the Scrappy Tales Crafts as well as future giveaways. The uh, winners are going to be announced on the 16th and you have until 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on April 15th to comment. These two spring themed birthday cards are coming along so cute. I did find this little cottontail that I'm adding to the little bunny. It's so darn cute for a little added embellishment. And I did want to add a couple tufts of grass and this die set here, this is the A7 storefront flower shop add-on. Look at the amazing number of dies you get. All I wanted was this little tuft of grass. I felt like it could use just a little bit on each side of the floral plants. And so I cut those out and I'm just gluing those on to either side of both of my cards. And then I just feel like it rounded it off. So now, oh, I forgot to glue that little butterfly, so I'm getting that one down. And now it's time to add the centers to those flowers. So I'm using some Nouveau drops for the pink flowers. And I always wait to do this last because it does take a while to dry and you don't wanna get your fingers in, the, in there. I did have some of this yellow sparkle as well to go onto the little tulips. And so I'm adding that in the centers. And that is going to add just that finishing touch for the flowers. So you don't have to worry about those little tiny pieces if you don't want to use those. I'm going to add a little sparkle marker to my butterfly. And that completes my two cards for the Scrappy Tales Crafts Flower Shop Hop. Thanks again so much for stopping by. I hope you like my cards. I hope you like my video. And I hope you'll check out the shop and check out all the design team members' projects and don't forget to leave those comments. The more comments you leave, the more chances you have to win. That's all for today. I hope you have a fantastic day. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye for now.